Welcome. We are back in the garage at DIYGolfCar.com. Today we're continuing our series working on this 2012 EasyGo RXV. In today's episode, we're going to be changing out this rack and pinion steering. So I got the car here, the tools over there. Let's get started. In today's project, we'll be using a cordless drill, a 17 millimeter wrench, a 5 16 Allen drive, a T45 drive, a screwdriver, a 3 quarter inch socket, pliers, a dead blow hammer may be necessary, and a ball joint separator, which if you don't have one, your local automotive store will rent you one. Okay, we got our back tire blocked and secured so this car don't roll on us. Jack stands in place. Now, let's get this hubcap and tire wheel assembly off so we can get to the steering section. We're removing the tire and wheel assembly so you can see what we're doing. It's not necessary for this project. Okay, now that we've got our tires and wheels out of the way, let's take our tie rod ends loose from our spindles. First, we're gonna to need to remove the cotter pin. Then remove the nut, holding the tie rod end in place. And if it doesn't come out easily, then we'll need to get our ball joint separator. And then repeat on the other side. Now that we've got our tie rod in unbolted, our next step is to go ahead and remove the yoke from the steering rack. To remove the yoke from the steering section, first you will need to take the bolts out. Then use a ball joint separator to remove it. Next, by using an extension, we can get to the bolts that hold the steering rack to the frame. Now that we got the steering rack cleaned and inspected, let's get it put back on the golf cart. Now for reassembly, what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of grease on the splines and then slide the yoke onto the splines. Next, we'll put all the bolts back into the rack, attaching it to the frame. Put all the bolts in just finger tight before tightening. Now put the bolt through the yoke, through the spline.
Next, insert the tie rod in into the spindle. Attach the nut and tighten. And repeat this step on the other side. Now that we've got our steering rack installed, it's time to do away with the old tires and wheels and install some new tires and wheels from DIYGolfCar.com. If you'll click our link, you can actually go to our website and view all the inventory of our tires and wheels that are all custom just for your golf car. Well, we've had another successful day here at the garage. We've managed to clean and inspect our rack and pinion, install new tires and wheels. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And for tires, wheels, and any of your golf cart accessories or needs, DIYGolfCar.com.